Hello and welcome back to a yapping with me, Felonius the Wizard. And as you probably saw, we are going to do some talk about a rock star. Should we call him that? I don't know. Um, Elvis Presley. Now, I know that he is one of the great legends of rock and roll and yes and all that, but I have never liked him. Well, his song voice, his voice is very good. The songs weren't that good. I mean, there were people who could do them better uh, and much the same. But his voice was, of course, the thing about him. Um, and he also got people to write songs for him that fitted him up to at least Viva Las Vegas. Um, after that, it wasn't much. Uh, the big reason I uh, didn't like him was because he was a, well, he was a drug addict. Um, and we all know that that was what took him, 77. And, uh, and it was like, for me it was more of, yeah, it serves you right, you stupid idiot. You shouldn't have been taking drugs and now you're dead. I am not. I don't take drugs. I, I'm not dead. So it was more like that. The fun fact for me, and you might not agree on this, so you're totally fine, you can do whatever you want. But the fi fact, fun fact was that I was in the army at that time and I was with some musicians. I didn't even know that in the beginning, but Hultmann and Rosberg and Karlberg and all the rest of the guys, more or less all of them, were musicians. They had the tempo in them, they could sing and all that, and I couldn't, but that didn't bother me, because it was fine. It was totally fine. So, um, the thing is, when suddenly we heard the news about Elvis Presley was dead, um, we cheered. We started to make a party of it. I think it was in Wednesday, I'm not totally sure, but we suddenly started to um, enjoy ourselves much more. Finally, that stupid one was dead. And I was, I thought I was the only one who resented him. But it seems like everybody except probably one or two didn't. Um, but the rest of them guys thought exactly as me, it was about time that he went away. And that has totally blown my mind more than once since. But however, you can t say whatever you want about Elvis Presley. He was big and even afterwards there is always a thing about Elvis. Uh, I had a, a show here in Sweden, we call it Garderoben, the rock and hanger, uh, as probably Ron and Jade Elephant, some of you other guys, make well included knows because you were the guys who talked into that intro. Thank you very much for that. Now each week I started to do some sort of, uh, I don't know, thought I should do um, a steady th thing. I was only 25-30 minutes but early on I started to play one Elvis Presley each week. Mostly not because of me that I liked him but mostly because I knew the rest of Sweden did, and at least the ones that was my age and older. They really liked Elvis. Uh, so in order to please them and make sure that they liked my radio show, of course, it's always something egoistic about it, I started to play one Elvis Presley each week. The weekly Elvis and I heard no one complain, no one at all. So I, I suspect that it went totally well. But however, if I could have chosen one of the rock stars back from that time, I would most likely have chosen like Chuck Berry or something like that. But he got his fair share as well, so no big deal. Um, and I also did, I think I had a new newly recorded versions of Elvis songs and other songs by the way uh, and we had well, I think you had something like it uh, like America's Got Talent or 
something like that, A Star is Born or whatever it was called, it's some show, and a guy called Henrik Åberg sang almost as if it was uh, Elvis Presley, and with the right makeup and stuff, he really looked like Elvis Presley. Now, I don't know what happened to him, uh, totally not, but I think it went totally over his head, and since he was a big fan of Elvis, I think he thought twice about going into that career. Now, I haven't bothered to check out how it went for him, but I saw that he had had some sort of, let's say, old folks home he went to sing to and stuff, taking it very low-key, don't recording in, don't, nothing. And he also made some Swedish songs that has nothing to do with Elvis, but with his Elvis-like voice. So Elvis is going to be there forever. No matter how bad I feel about him, he will be there. Um, it's it's like the same can be said about Michael Jackson. I don't. I know that people resent him because he was, I don't know, having a monkey and holding his kid with one hand or whatever it was. I I don't, didn't get into that. But the music, both from Elvis and from Jackson. They were great. Right. Thank you for listening. Bye.